Residents of the Federal Capital Territory on Tuesday woke up to long queues at petrol stations. The queues are as a result of panic buying based on rumors of impending fuel scarcity. Although the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has dispelled rumors of impending scarcity, they stress that there is enough products in store for the nation. The long queue did not disappear in the nation's capital. Very frustrating because all the fuel stations are either either closed down because of no because there's no fuel or there are too many people which is causing traffic. I had to come from a very far place to come here and find out there's no fuel. And I'm buying from this black market guy which I'm not even sure if is the fuel is mixed with something or if you know if it's fuel. But I have to get what I have to get. I feel like they should resolve the situation because this is not good for anybody. We won't hustle, we won't get money. We never get money because if they never have fuel in Nigeria, so we are market don't open now. If you get fuel, we won't hustle. We we don't carry like we won't go and take labor. We won't do labor. So now no fuel in Asma, no fuel in Tota. So we come in the road. We find our own money to find food. I'm just tired of what is happening in this country. For this moment, I'm not. I'm not happy with it. I don't know where to start. When they increase this fuel from 87 to 145, they say in six months time, fuel will come down from 145 to 160. Now it's, it's getting to worse and I don't know what to say. I don't really know. When people are coming, you know, are seeking for an elective positions, they, they come up with a lot of uh, laudable promises. But when, once they get there, they can't, they can't fulfill. They can't even, you know, they can't even touch a little of the promises they have made. So I think uh, by the time the government is sincere with issues, you know, we will be free from all these, uh, all these problems. So that is what I think is happening. It's insincerity on the part of the government. government. Because governance simply means creating an enabling environment for the citizens to thrive in every uh, facet of their lives, economy, security, and whatever and whatever. But look at what we, what we are seeing these days.